Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook at the farm. Hi, I'm here with Laura, and today she is going to take me around the farm. Hi, Mom. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike in a plane on a farm playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Hi, Dusty. <laughs> Noise. Yeah, he's saying hello to us. That's the noise the donkeys make. What do donkeys do on the farm? Well, donkeys could pull carts, they could carry loads for the farmer, and they're also used to protect sheep sometimes. If a donkey grows up with a flock of sheep, then he'll think of those sheep like his family, and he'll keep them safe from animals that might want to hurt the sheep, like a wolf. You have wolves here? We don't have wolves here, no, but uh, in places where they do have wolves, they sometimes use donkeys to help the farmers out and keep the sheep safe. I want to see some other animals. Okay, should we go see the sheep? Okay. I know what they make wool out of. What do they make wool out of? Sheep's fur. That's right. What is that? Is it a goat? That's right, these are goats. It's it. These are goats in here, and this is the mother goat. <laughs> and these two are her babies, and these are some of our sheep. There's a lot of animals here. There are a lot of animals here. I know what's different about a goat than what a is sheep. It? Goats have horns. Goats do have horns. Sometimes sheep have horns as well. Huh? Some, sheep, some breeds of sheep do have horns. Ours don't here. But the sheep have the wool that the farmers like to use to make sweaters and hats and things like that. And the goats on the farm are used to get milk. We can milk the goat. Just like you can milk a cow. That's right. Now, we have a very special sheep here. Her name is Susie, and she's super friendly. And we actually brought along some food for her. Would you like to feed Susie? So this stuff in here hay. is, that's right. right, it's hay. Do you know what hay is made out of? Grass. That's right, hay is dried up grass. So if you'd like to take this flake of hay, it's called a flake, we'll go into the pen and we'll feed it to Susie. This is Daniel Cook feeding Susie. Is this Susie? That is Susie. Yummy, yum, yum. for some more hay. I think that's enough for you guys. What does her wool feel like? Mm, it, soft. Yeah, it is kind of soft. What soft. do they feel like? They feel soft too. They are soft too. And they're cute. What do you think the difference is between the goat's hair and the sheep's wool? This guy is a uh, bit... Mm. Those guys are a bit softer than this one. This is more soft than this. Yeah. Why do you think this is softer than her face here? Mm, because this keeps her warmer. That's right, her wool keeps her warmer. And what does this do then? Well, this is the hair that protects her face. So this is our barn. Why don't we head inside and see all the animals? This is Daniel Cook exploring a barn. Hop up on there and see the chickens. Chickens. And you can see them pecking around down there by the feeder. They've got their food down there. They eat grain, just like the other animals on the farm, some wheat and oats and things like that. What do you call a chicken house? It's called a chicken coop, where the chickens live. What's in the next box? Well, nice. let's go see. Black pigs. Black pigs, that's right. They're a special breed of pig called large English black pigs. And these guys were just born actually uh, about a week ago. And those ones are drinking milk right there from their mom, you're right. Boy, that's a big pig. She is a big pig. And you can see she's, she's got really fluff. long. Yeah, she is long and she's got floppy ears. Her ears flop right over her eyes. 
and her baby. And she can't see. Well, she can move her ears when she's standing up and wants to see around. Daniel, do you know what cats do on the farm? Mm. They help keep the flies away. Well, this guy's chasing some flies right now, but the cats chase a different kind of animal. They chase... Birds? Some of them do, but the farm cats are very, Mice? very helpful. That's right. They're very, very helpful to the farmers. Thank you very much, Laura, for, for taking me around the farm. It was fun. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you very much for coming. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.